Star is about to meet that gank. And this could get really scary really fast. He has to push all the way up. There's the wall of pain. And they're going to move in. Lee Sin lands the Q. The slows are off as well. Scar losing so much health. And will fall down 3-0 right now. And the kill goes to Alex. Now he's here. He's only got half a hit points. He has got the rest of the team coming behind now. Let's go see Pepper. Go see Pepper. against the grab onto a legendary sneak. He's going to come in. Alex Itch goes in. Doesn't manage to get the kill. That may well give Nami a little bit of a chance here. Because he's got a lot of damage that he's going to be missing here. Are they going to go across? They kick actually. Oh, Diamond Prox goes through. Steals it with Spike. Very nice. He does. Kicked one member out of the way. I'm just going to see, see if was. Diamond can do anything. Does catch Svenskeren. Lands up towards Svenskeren. Sven's just going to try and run away from this one. The tower not hitting him. Gets Pugsy back in there. Diamond control in there. The ex jungler. The MVP is not going to go towards him this time. Diamond's going to get on him. Diamond actually grouping up to try and stop this one from happening. They seem to have scared them a little bit. They do see the whole concept of Snoopy. He is by far and away the tankiest member right now on the team. is Diamond wow. coming around the back. The other PB focus down. There is a shockwave though into the world's back line. Alex Hitch going to go very, very low. San United being used and Darren actually doesn't get over there. Alex Nothing Hitch. that Gambit can do about that one. Out positioned here. We are going to see them. Pushing on top, are they going to be able to lock up for Ellen Lord? Yes, they are going to be able to. There's a shockwave only onto Darian, and the bullet tank comes through. Both of them very low. Diamond's in there to try and finish up the kills. He's going to get stunned, slowed up here as well. Flashes over. Can he land the Q? Yes, he can. Gets the double. Brilliant. Diamond can half half the map. Misses the Q. Diamond turns for a stun. Actually goes aggressive. Does he have a teammate coming nearby? He does not, but Diamond continues to simply outfight him. There's the first combo going back from Insect, but Diamond still wants blood. He does force the safeguard away. Diamond pops Ghost. He's still chasing. Lands the bear stand stun back in the turtle. Insect's not having a good job. Oh, Diamond runs with the solo kill from Lowell. They're going to go for it. Dominus is available. They're going to tank it out. There's the Dominus being used up. He's tanking it for a long time. That's a quick blood well pop. Svenskeren comes back around. He's going to pop back up and try and jump away. Is he going to be able to do it though? No. Svenskeren can't attack the turret. There's a lot of damage on Svenskeren coming out from that turret. And they do get him. Here comes Diamond. He's going to try and track around the side. Flashies gets the Sonic Wave and takes him down a range. Punts Freddy back in there. And now Freddy's in trouble. Darren didn't really read the play. I don't think he was expecting this to work out so well. But Diamond Brock proves the king of the jungle is still alive on Lee Sin. He couldn't actually farm. Actually, he wasn't playing. He was playing a railing. He couldn't farm up at all. But right now, they haven't been able to make that play happen. Darren, he is level 4. It looks like he actually wants to go in for a gank here. This could be terrible. Yeah, going in there, but Cyanide is actually just around the corner. And Darian, is he going to get his passive pop? Yes, he is. But right under the toy, and Cyanide, he's going to get his passive pops as well. Crazy, crazy start to this one. But the kill's landed. He's gone in. Diamond picks up the kill. And Darian is going to walk away. What a turnaround by Gambit. Wow. Just... Wow! Done. And as soon as Ocelot is going to be spotted in vision here, they might jump in. Oh, but the uh, Shock Blast actually missing here. Darian going very, very low. Here comes a slicing Maelstrom. That's going to stun Alex Hitch up. He somehow gets away. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, a, a master troll from Diamond. Gets a Cataclysm. quite a few of these ganks right now, and, and Gambit, with the goal that they have, with the way they've been playing this past week, I think they're going to be really explosive, and here's the gang. Chain of Corruption on towards Genja, here's the arrow, but he flashed around it, nicely played from Genja there. Now he turns his attention to Nils, piercing arrow back up, gets the double kill. Wow, that, again, Diamond's coming out of bottom, this is the right call. Going in towards Wei is he going to actually be able to turn this one around? We see the roll, is it quite going in there? We do see the assault and Bachi going on towards Diamond, he's going to flash away. Diamond's coming on to all three of them, Edward gonna pop his ultimate and actually WE going quite low, but there is a dash in from Wei Zhao. He picks up Edward, oh. but he's gonna go down. Piercing Arrow goes through two of them. No wild god, there's no crazy sweep. There's no chain of corruption. And remember, Alex has just got very good poke. We'll see who comes out of here. Yet another Baron team. So Baron down to half health. There's the mines being thrown out. Bounty bombs again. Amazing jump straight into the team. He's taken down so quick though. It's going to be Kenja that does the damage. Eddie is taken out of this one. The stun comes out, but look at the double kill for Kenja. Unlimited gets pounced on. Diamond gets himself a kill. It's towards into triple kill. He's going to go for him. But give it goes down into quarter. Can they get the Penta on your book? One more shot. It's a Penta kill. Would you believe? They're beating him. 
Oh, he's gonna check it. Oh, he doesn't need to. They're just gonna go straight in for him on that one. You see the flash away. Meteor's going in at the back. Darian waiting. He wants to get his ulti off, and he's gonna get it off onto high this time. Meanwhile, Diamond's been forced away. There's the two man shot, but they're coming. Blasting through there. That's a lot of damage. But they focus in. High gonna go down. Genja absolutely beasting them there at the back as Diamond comes in again. Everyone's really low again. But Genja, he's cleaning up this one. Sneaky uses the barrier. Genja dashes in. Triple kill. That's my breath. Let's go. Someone really wants to keep that story alive. They're using everything. He's got Pekka gets caught out. Is he going to be able to dodge the death mark? He's tied it right. The diamond comes across the side there. And well, they can finish it off. Quite surprised. Well done by Pekka. Oh, the rocket. Superman and Death Rock is going through. Oh, wow. This could be scary. Snoopy does have his ultimate available. Will they turn for this one? Looks over Sash. Yeah. Is still available. Looks like Wicked did get out. But now it's Crepo under fire. Oh my god, oh. the damage! And the double up finds two! They've now found Snoopy! Super well. exciting. Yeah, the distortion boots on a flash teleport mid is not exactly you know, game breaking or just game changing. But we do see Genja once Surprise, again prioritizing that blood burst. So we see a flash over the wall, but they're even scared yeah, of Genja. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, it was enough. With it goes down, and that's pretty much all she wrote uh, from that side. It's Voidal here, actually going to get locked up, but that might just be a catalyst. Time to go fight it through the bullet time. Has hammered away again. He gets two from that. There is Alex coming in with Destiny at the side. It ends with a triple kill. Of Snoopy. Yeah, a little bit. They go for the play here in mid. Oh, we do see a knock up there onto Dani. That's a crescendo. Locking up the back line of Gambit. Dani is the first victim to fall. We do see the zone is out well from Alex. The chain of corruption is spreading. Diamond Plus has fallen. Genja is untouched in the fight. Genja's jumping onto him. He's squashing him down. Lupin now trying to get backwards. The force ball doesn't connect to Darian with a blood well. It's going to be able to solo out him. Genja gets a massive, massive amount of damage. Lupin, oh, that is going to be a massive win. Kill credit lands with Kaiju. It's not over yet. Now TG does go into the coast off. Genja gets out of range, picks up a double kill. And son, you are not... Well, it's going to have to run from this one. He's going to jump away. Lands with it. Nicely done. Ultimate available. Exhaust goes down. Genja catches on towards him. He takes the lantern. And Genja gets in. The dragon spawns right now. So needs to be a little bit careful as he sidesteps the hook. There is the front from Slipstream. Nice. Trying to kick him as Edward. Going to get caught out here by Candy Panda. He actually turns the damage around us. This is the support against the AD carry. Edward going low. He's going to fall. No. He actually got the kill before. If he's strong enough, he can see him poking back towards Mubeh. Mubeh taking very low, and he's just going to walk away. Will he hook him in? Hosan is going to get caught out here. He's put the ignite down. The shaft to bury it off. Edward has to flash away. The ignite's oh, going to get him. Oh, oh, oh. To try and get Baron and some kills. Only chance in this game. The steals come through. Dark findings will start to land. There's the ultimate coming. And what? That's he got it. it. They got it. Leona picks up the Baron. Edward will go down afterwards. But when that is off. Oh no, Genja's gonna get caught out here by Ocelot. It will be Gosu actually that turns to. Genja does use that ulti. Gosu actually popping his own ulti. Whoa, oh my god! Kaldus ulti backed him with it. Wow! They were not expecting that. SK just got. Here, top tower, the Baron buff takes the win, means they will be a bit stronger. The Oriana ball goes out into the middle. Everybody has to be careful. Death sentence. First one to go in all the way in on the score. The boss gets pop. Catches multiple members. Bullet time only hitting Alex Inch. As it looks like Darren's just jumping. Command shopping goes up. But Gendra's still in tower range. He's going to wind up a kill. Mappa goes on a killing streak. The tower goes down. And the floodgates open for Gambit Gaming. Alex Inch picks up a kill on Thresh. Flash! Oh. Death sentence connects with Ryu. Pulls down in. And we're trying to get a double kill to the choir for Alex Inch. See, Woop's gonna be the dive. They're going towards Mad Life. The Sun Guard comes out. He might get into the Lords of Turret just in time. The Ignite goes down as well. One more hit will do it. He's gonna go down. The Ignite will take. No! Mad Life survives and he backs straight away. Oh, oh but here oh, comes oh, Edward. Oh, the Crest Prince comes around and Woop gets hooked in as well. Is it gonna be enough to take it? Red does not land. Diamond tries to get away. Flashes out of Galaxism and now he's stoked free. Can he get on towards him? They're going to try and turn this one around. Eddie's going to join them alongside Nick. Cocoon goes thrown out. Cat is on him. Baylor. Death sentence flung out. And Eddie lands it once again.
You can see the Aqua Prism come through there. Well, Kurt's yeah. gonna try to push with this Baron buff, knowing there's wow. an explosion hit, and getting a taunt! They still have two minutes left on this. Chris forced into the Zhonya's Maelstrom, and it looks like he will not be able to do enough damage. They are getting tickled by this right now. Boy, boy, he walks through, grabs himself a kill. It's gonna be Vile Rose to get the shutdown. That bounty much needed for him. It looks ah, like because it lined them up for Gambit, for Gambit catching people out, and they're doing it again. Oh, wait, no. Out of position there, I mean... See, Edward getting caught right now, though. Oh, he flashes the wall and actually manages to juke away from the Varus ulti, but they've got a 5v4 and it goes back in. It's going to be a bunch of damage on the Genja. Frog in the middle finds the loot ult as well. There's the unstoppable force used on the Genja, but he does not go down. Frog is really under pressure. Legendary wow. Alex finds one, two, three, four. Oh. Is it going to be five? I can't actually tell. Everyone is dead. And it is a Penta kill. Penta kill for Alex Edge. And that's a good way to do it. And it's, it's a like 5v1 me. right now. They're trying to chase him down. There isn't the rest of the team. There's the Ashero coming in as well, but they're still trying to take down nice. Darian. And it seems he's not going to get out of there. It's not up. That manages to turn oh away. God. Clears the gap. There's the noodle ult. Managed to get the full channel and on now that one. And here Alex as well. Edge with the Zillions are going out on the edge of the fight. One more Alpha Strike. He can get another triple here. That is what. Oh, the That's the Quadra. And the chase. That's the kill. 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 Way, so they just, they're just gonna storm <laughs> the front. You, you proved the point during that tournament. And, uh, we only save a thousand difference! Good lord! Did anyone see Reckless? Because I didn't. Oh, uh, sorry, the ultimate will rock off. And it's gonna be jumped on. Alex just gets himself the reset. He's trying to look for another juicy target. Will he get on towards him? Overpower's so, so low, but he's gonna have... And he's getting on towards him. He jumps towards Sonoma. Can he get it towards him? He's gonna run away again. Darian running interference from the backside. He does. Yankos goes in there. Yankos, will he take him down? No! Alex just gets the kill! Gets another kill! It's a triple! Relics, and it's an ace for Gambit! What the hell just happened? It's one of those two. Oh wow! Gibbs is going aggressive, he's eventually being used by Alex Sinch. A lot of damage coming down, forces the flash out. Wow! Oh, it's Alex Sinch and Sergei from his face. Now, they've got one turret so far. They're going to go for that number two. Shen, of course, going for that third up top. This is working perfectly for IG. Here we go, the attack comes in, Petrifying Gaze, Solar Fair goes down, the tie drops one as well, but Alex East will find the tie in the fight. A lot of that carry damage has gone down, and they continue to just go for Ghost and Pepper. Darian falls as well, finally we lose Zhao Zhao, and Icy starts to lose members of their team. PDD, the last one to go, a double kill coming up for Kid, and they finally take down onto Cosmo. This is the illusion coming It means that his last wish is actually going to be very slow, so if he's ever dueling double if well, double if has the ice Icebone He's gonna have a hard time actually breaking through that damage. Oh my gosh, he's going back. Alex D says, I'm getting out of here, but he meets the same vicious. Oh, the 2v1 in favor of Alex right now. He's actually fighting three people with Requiem coming in. Now in a 1v1, a fourth person fighting Alex in this fight now with Two-Stop Barrage coming across. He may not make it out. Four is three to them. As he... Wow, back off this. Oh, Look at Alex, so oh, vicious, just absolutely getting bit down by Alex. He's there at the shock blast. Oh, when he gets the shield down to save himself. That is such a scary man coming out of the jungle. He's going to get the better of that one. And look at Edward. Four-man stun there at the front, keeping everyone away from the fight. Darian will ulti in on towards high. Alex jumps in, jumps back out of the fight. Meteos did pick up a kill there at the back of things. And Darian is super low. Sneaky will be able to finish him off. Fail flash from Sneaky in the back of Dragon Pit. He's going to pay for it with his life more easy. There's Alex diving in. Double kill, double jump. Amazing from Alex Hitch. That's oh, four. Having to get out of this one. Darian. Oh, and Alex Hitch gets in, gets the false pulse. Maybe pops it down, but Peke comes around. He gets on towards Edward. Sinai taking the main line. The triple kill. Picked up in one single false pulse. Quadra kill comes out. Peke so low. Could we see the Penta kill coming out from Alex Hitch? He's going to pursue this one. Darian comes around. No, because Peke comes around and gets just steals away the Penta kill. However, Candy Panda, he's super surrounded. He's gonna have Evelyn coming in. There's Alex H gonna go into him. The Condem coming down. Blade of the Ruin King gonna be using. Good damage coming out. Can he find him? But here comes Diamond. He's gonna chase off Alex H. Is he gonna die to this one? His timing was perfectly there between the Requiem. He got invulnerable for that split second. That, that, is, that is sick. That was beautiful. You that look was... at the items there and, and compare Frogan's them. in trouble. Well, yeah, Frogan's gonna get caught out from this one. Uh, Alex actually going pretty low from this, but here comes Diamond from the side. Frogan gonna 
try and rift walk away. Slippery character that he is. There's a stun card pulled. Are they going to have the range? Ooh. Yes, he goes to Hello P. Masses of damage. He flashes over. Krepo's trying to be a hero. He goes down again. That's a double for Genja. And Alex is alive. Darian is going to face check. This is surely a dead Darian. He's knocked up. He's controlled from all kinds of angles. Oh, flashes away though. And will he live? Will the crocodile manage to escape this one? Arrow comes flying through, misses everyone. Diamond coming in to help him out. Darian is still alive. He got kicked over the wall. He's alive in that. Darian has himself a giant spell and a chain vest as well. But look at this. The rest of Millennium are starting to close in. Kevin going to go awfully low from this one. But there is the ultimate thrown down by Kevin. Cook is waiting off to the side here. And Darian, I'm afraid, is going to be going down once again. Or is he? He somehow managed to escape down the back ignite is ticking but he is still alive kevin's got no mana to really chase this it's gonna have to be aaron here landing the queue he oh he missed it he flashes in misses the queue he's gonna be getting another one up here in a second he's still got full hp so he can go under the tower and darian dodges behind how in hell did he just darian's been jumped on by jerry darian's been jumped on we've seen how slippery he's been in the past he can get away from this one though he's doing a decent <laughs> amount of damage to two of them got his ultimate running here, of course he does have a Sunfire cape. Again! Look at this, Gragas is coming around. Here is Lee Sin as well, the Q is going to land. Can Darian survive this one? He's going to oh jump over the wall. Can God. you believe it? The Swaglord again walks away. Three men chasing him, not even close. I now Darian, the pings go down. Shy realizes he's going to engage. The counter strike's going to get flashed out off. He's going to get the audacious charge. Three talent strike will bounce him up in the air. One more jump comes across. Darian now manages to get the upper hand on towards Shy. The ignite goes down. He goes for the dog. He's got the He's got it. He's got it. Darian now turning away. And it's Darian that's looking for kills right now. Be careful he doesn't get caught Darian. out too far off the lane. Darian has a man in the Darian has a man in <laughs> Really, Darian? Really? He just builds what he likes. That's, that's what he goes with. And Alex, it's important to your team composition was uh, the man in the on Patreon. So, Darian decided that. Mana immune will give him mana, but then when he tried it, it didn't, so he was upset. <laughs> Creatin going aggressive, the zap will slow him down. They've landed the hook as well, but Gambit can't follow through. A Millennium bully them out. If Edward sticks around, assaulted batteries available, Aranir may throw himself in. Yeah, they've thrown the box down there. There is Aranir going down. He's taking a lot of damage and actually gets away from the toy. But look at this, Warwick's coming around the back. They're all low. This could be disaster. This could be disaster for Millennium. Darian's going to ulti in towards Aranir. Creatin going low. Have they got the damage to finish him off? One or two more. Will do it. Uses the barrier. It's a kill for Diamond. There is Kevin now in the bottom lane, and Gambit walk off. That's three for one. Very good turnaround. We talked about very early on how Ezra was very uh, difficult to deal with. Darian is now getting caught out. Can they kill him? Well, it wouldn't be a week of LCS action without Darian getting caught out. Whether they can finish off a kill against him is another matter here because the rest of Gambit <laughs> actually coming down and Darian just walking away. And he's actually going to walk in on towards Darian A here. He's just going to be able to pick up the kill from it. There is the rest of the team. The hook lands on to Darian A. Darian. Oh, or he has something else. I've seen him play all of before, but I don't know if he still plays it. Final ban out. <laughs> Look at Darian. He's forced a Warwick ban. That's what he's been aiming for with this with these picks. That's what I respect. That's what I appreciate. We're going to see the dive coming in out towards Darian. Going to get knocked up there by five. Bloodwell is available once again, but he doesn't have much help, that's for sure. And actually, it's going to be Salme that goes in right onto him. There is the knockup coming in. Salme tanking up the turn. He's actually going to fall from this one. So Darian. Gambit, they've been struggling this summer. They've actually been struggling since Alexic left before the split began. Diamond and Darian have been benched. But Diamond and Darian, they've been playing together with the rest of the team since 2011, where they joined Team Empire. Empire then became Moscow 5 in 2012, and they went on a rampage, tearing apart European events and every Intellect Extreme Masters they attended. Moscow 5 eventually became Gambit, where the team 
had a fantastic performance through most of 2013, including attending Worlds at the end of the year. And this is a drastic and worrying change for the team, considering how close they are to Worlds this year.